Okay, now we're on. <laughs> Hello. Hi. So Hi. we thought we would um, explain to all of you who have watched um, over the years, over the all of our videos. All of the videos, yeah. We wanted to explain to you why we took such a huge break from YouTube and um, why we think we're okay now. <laughs> <laughs> we're pretty sure. Um, so it got to the point where, well, let's see, how do we start? There was like a million variables attached to our anxiety and YouTube was one of the many. <clears throat> yeah, we, so we kind of took on, took on a lot. Um, and a lot of you might be saying, well, yeah, <laughs> we could have told you that, <laughs> but, <laughs> and we knew that too. We knew when we purchased a cow that we were taking on a huge responsibility. We knew when we bought this house that we were changing our lives forever. Um, and we knew that. Yeah. And we knew that we wanted to have a certain um, lifestyle, a certain style of living. And we wanted to be self-sufficient. We wanted to live in the country desperately. We wanted to um, live on less money. And we thought it out very carefully, but we didn't really, I think we didn't realize that doing all these things at once, including having a, a huge garden and trying to um, do all these homesteady type of things by hand, the old fashioned way, <clears throat> we didn't realize that they were gonna build up and really cause us to um, kind of stress out and start to feel I think, stretched thin. I think we thought that we were fulfilling these dreams, which we were, because we had dreamt about doing all these kind of things since we were kids. Um, but we never realized that there wasn't enough room in our life to do all of them. And so when we kept shoving more goals into our life and, and then also more disappointments because you don't get to have enough hours in the day for all of those things, um, we didn't realize how much we would uh, push some parts of our lives completely out, like art, for example. Yeah. Trent wasn't able to paint very much at all. From and, the cow. And <laughs> because yep. of the cow. Yep. <laughs> yep. And just other, other things like that um, built up. And yeah, it sort of kind of felt like it hinged on our YouTube channel. And so as soon as we stopped doing videos, we felt more free. We could have done whatever we wanted. You know, that's funny. We put these limitations on ourselves and we... <laughs> well, it's easy to assign blame to whatever you want to in your life. You know, sometimes yeah. we're correct about that assumption and we're about that assignment of blame. And other times we're not. And, you know, other times it's just, you know, things add up and they start I to tip. I ate a grapefruit. <laughs> you ate a grapefruit candy. Sometimes yeah. the scale gets tipped. And, you know, I think we're all striving for some kind of balance in our lives whether it be, you know, work versus family or, you know, s serving in the church versus family versus work. You know, I mean, we all have multiple, multiple things that, that are um, taking our time. And a lot of us really value and we, we should um, have, have room in our lives for downtime as well. And we were just, uh, we tended to be eliminating more and more of that downtime, the relaxation time, I think. And uh, anyway, it, so when was this that uh, we first realized that what we were suffering from was, was actual anxiety? Well, it was probably when you thought you had a heart attack. Okay, yeah. That was back in March. March. Okay, so March of this year. Um, was that... Which he didn't. Before? Yeah, I didn't. But I, it felt like it. I'll explain in a minute. Um, when was the last video we made? This big long one where we kind of just ranted for a long time or I ranted about that was in April how okay so I don't know so remember. after I don't know it I was right remember. about the same time though but everything was kind of coming to this uh this point of you know collapse it felt like um well, let me back up just a minute again Lurgeen mentioned um eliminating art from our lives and it, it really came to that in fact at one point um during our you know, during the height of us making videos every day. Um, I, you know, was out in the garden, really enjoying life. 
uh, after just having made cheese or something like that, and just really just kind of at the pinnacle, making you know, making this life that we could only dream of and that so few people get to experience, and it's so fulfilling, so amazing that we could do so much, and um, um, it was just you know just really cool. But I told I told Laura Jean, you know, I think I I could be fine if I never paint again, if I. You know, you can't, you can't live in a painting or live off of a painting. And so I just kind of figured, well, what, what's the point? You know, we uh, paint, you know, making art. <laughs> Cute banjo. You can distract everybody. Nobody's going to want to watch us and they can watch you. That's always <laughs> That's the case. her point. <laughs> <laughs> but can you let us talk too? I love you so much. Um, so I figured, you know, since art was my career and obviously I do it to make money um it's kind I, of a big deal for it to not get pushed out of your life right but I thought you that, know, since, which is all our own <laughs> all but, our but own since we doing. were yeah but since we were living off of uh living off of our own land entirely and had our house paid off um we didn't really need money that much we you know we needed a certain amount of cash per year to pay taxes right we and, can live without paying without selling paintings but yeah. we realized that us personally don't want to live without being creative in the arts yeah we didn't realize how to, is, yeah. rooted they were in our we don't have souls. our cows anymore yep. Yep. yeah so we realized that um that our our that that part of our Mommy, lives Mama. that was art um what? was very much we didn't realize before how important it was on a uh on a, you know, who we are type of a level. Um, you know, I had, I had, um, accidentally gotten to the point where I thought of my art as simply a job or simply my career. The same as somebody else might consider working at a factory for 40 years, their career. Um, and it was about that point that I said that to you that things started going downhill very slowly. <laughs> it was very interesting. Yeah. And now we think it was a very spiritual um, enlightenment type of journey. We're grateful for the experience. We never would have known that it was a part of us that deeply. Yeah. Until we tried to remove it well, from I, our lives. I was reminded uh -huh. uh, recently, well, after that experience, um, that, that I started out you know, being so passionate yeah. about my art and, uh, and I had a good career <laughs> because of it. And it was based on my passion and then slowly it became a job and, you know, I, uh, sort of, it was very, very slow and subtle, but, um, over the course of decades, I kind of, uh, you're so cute, Banjo. <laughs> <laughs> She's silently lip syncing along. <laughs> um, you, you're a distraction. You're a cute, awesome, adorable distraction. <laughs> oh, we have to go like that for a minute. <laughs> um, what was I saying? What was I saying, Banjo? I don't know. Oh, uh-oh, me neither. Uh, we basically just, um, I had to realize, again, had to, had to <laughs> regain that passion. And because of that, a lot of things changed in my art. And I had to very deliberately break down, um, uh, boundaries, uh, <laughs> things that held me, held me back from moving forward. I had to break through these limitations that I had placed on myself. And um, you can go over to my other YouTube channel if you want a further explanation of that. Um, so, going back to, you said March, right? Mm -hmm. Sometime in the, March I think, first. early, early March. Your birthday is March 1st. First. Oh, that was way off. Yeah, <laughs> so end of March. How do you remember this? I wrote it in my journal. Oh yeah, it was, it was horrible. Okay, so I woke up in the middle of the night. I don't, you know, I just I felt too hot or something. So I kind of woke up and kicked the covers off myself and um, try tried to get back to sleep. And uh, you did you? for those of you who have like full-on real diagnosable anxiety you may want to even not not listen to this because um it's hard for me to even talk about it without experiencing the same symptoms again which is why we stayed away for a long time but bear with me um so i became 
aware in the middle of the night, you know, when there was nothing to look at, nothing to listen to, I became aware of my heart, my heart beating. And the more I felt my heart, <laughs> kids jumping on the couch now, the, the more I felt my heart beat, the more I became aware that, oh, maybe this is beating too slow or too fast or does this feel right? And I've, I've always... Or is it beating at all? <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I admit, I've always... Not always. Most of my life, though. I've had um, concerns about my heart. I, I suffer from a, a very minor um, heart murmur on occasion. And it's usually brought on by, by mental stress. Um, physical stress doesn't do it for me because I, I tend to um, respond really well to that. Um, to exercising hard, for example. But emotional... Um, stress or, or worry has really affected my heart always and it just gives me a little kind of a skip of a beat well that started happening and then um, in the course of five or ten minutes it started happening more and more and uh, yeah, it's happening right now but I'm but I'm aware of it <laughs> not being a thing you know I, I know that I'm not uh, in any danger but it was a very uh, I had to kind of psych myself out um, to come to this point where I am today to not just uh, turn this video off and say forget it I'm not gonna do it because that's what happened multiple times during our absence from YouTube um, I would start a video and my start heart would start beating weird and I would uh, breathe heavily or, sh or shallowly I guess uh, I wouldn't be able to catch my breath and uh you couldn't your fingers were turning tingly and numb yeah i start to lose um circulation in my in my fingers um yeah it felt very much like so going back to this this one experience at night i my heart stopped it it, it stopped i couldn't make out a heartbeat through my chest or my wrist or my neck multiple points i couldn't uh feel my heart and of course i instantly panicked this is about I skipped about three full beats, which in my mind meant I was, that's it, I'm dead, I'm gone. I woke up Laura Jean in a, and you know, I was very panicky. I said, Laura Jean, wake up, you're gonna have to give me CPR, my heart is not beating. Of course, that's not a great fun thing to wake up to. No. It... I feel so bad, I, I didn't know what else to do, I was panicking. Um, and well, which as sent far Laura Jean as, into this panic too. As far as the information that he was receiving, um, cause you're, um, He died. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> all the symptoms that you were reading co were coinciding with what you thought what, that you knew it was. So, yeah. yeah. In your defense, um, you yeah. were doing the best you could in the, with the knowledge that you had at the time. <laughs> of course, my panic, I, I've never experienced this before, um, the rush of adrenaline um it, it doesn't I, I go could away literally like feel i could feel it going through my veins it was very strange um a hot you know instant wake up type of sensation um as if you just drunk 20 red bulls or something i don't know i've never drunk red bull at all but <laughs> i imagine <laughs> uh drink with a lot of caffeine in it um but of course that that adrenaline um, instantly got my heart beating. Um, unfortunately, the pendulum swung really far the other way and it was um, to a panicky um, high <laughs> heart rate. Anyway. Didn't you oh. almost pass out? Yes, I almost did, several times. Um, the only thing that helped me was... We somehow magically oh, were I'm, prompted I'm, to, I'm, oh, oh, yeah. to look it up. Yeah, to look, look up, up on. the symptoms of anxiety. And of course, when we say magically, of course, I mean um, I'm God prompted us. <laughs> you know, we're prompted by the Spirit to to uh, search for it on YouTube, um, of all places. Um, <laughs> YouTube unfortunately has this uh, tendency to sort of uh, race to the bottom um, of everything, and uh, most of what's popular on YouTube uh, isn't very uh, helpful, <laughs> or even real life or anything like that. But um, and we're grateful that some people shared their experiences with panic and anxiety on YouTube, and it was, it was very helpful. 
very helpful to um, hear their experiences. Um, one person actually, uh, while explaining it, had a, a quite a severe panic attack on on camera, and he he managed to find the courage to share that with people, and that was very helpful. So I'm grateful for that, and for those out there who are willing to share their experience. And um, I'll admit, my heart is beating strangely right now, just having um, explained the situation. Um, but I've learned through a lot of prayer self -talk. and self-talk, positive yeah. self-talk, mm -hmm. how to um, control my emotions, my emotional state. Um, Define your physical symptoms as what they truly are. Yeah, which is, I don't know. I, I, I know now that, you know, I've gone through it so many hundreds of times since that experience that I know that it's not a heart attack. I have gotten <laughs> checked up by, um, by our friend who, uh, who knows a lot about it. She's a, She's a certified medi health medical professional. professional friend. Um, and uh, we went through a lot of experiment, experiments with different uh, herbal supplements. Herbal supplements. I want to say um, medicines, but you know, natural medicines to to kind of eliminate one thing at a time. And uh, suddenly, almost as quickly as as it happened, I, I kind of learned to control it. And one day, a few weeks ago, I just woke up and kind of realized, oh wow, I haven't had, haven't felt that anxiety for a couple weeks now. And uh, I was, um, so it's been deathly, like a month yeah, now. Yeah, about, about a month, yeah. Um, and, uh, and that's why you've seen a few YouTube videos. <laughs> but uh, this video kind of should have been the first it's one, but there's no, way I could have, there's no way I could have talked about this a month ago without sending myself into a panic again. And as I mentioned, it's um, bringing back those symptoms, but I'm okay. Anyway, whew. so... I was we, along on the ride, yeah. not nearly as uh, extreme as Trent, but I think I have an empathetic connection because very much so. We always have. We complete each other. We and so, uh, but yeah, a lot of uh, yeah, I'll hold it up here. a lot of Thanks, strong emotions. Um, I don't know if you, it anxiety is. I never had any panic attacks, but I have had a lot of anxiety throughout this whole. She passed out. But also. In the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wasn't. That, was, that probably was from anxiety, actually. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. That's <laughs> that. No, that she's, probably caused. She's talking helps about, cause our anxiety. She's talking about a different experience, which we have already shared, when I was hemorrhaging, but that. That certainly watch doesn't a help anxiety. Video, <laughs> um, uh, and we will link to it somewhere I don't in the know. description. Yeah, I'm tired of linking to videos. <laughs> you can find it. This you is can find too it if you want to. Long. You can go play, um, honey. You can play, yeah. Um, so, part of, let's see, part of our stress was the lack of time we had um, to ourselves. So, we, Banjo already mentioned it, we have sold Buttercup. Um, it was. I think we already mentioned that in a recent video. We, it was very difficult. We, we all cried. Went through a process of yeah, elimination. We got rid of it. Until we yep. had got to the level of not anxiety. Yeah. So it was one animal at a time, basically. <laughs> we, I think we could have eliminated one thing and then waited um, several months to see if that would take we effect. Did. We waited like six months between the cow and the pig. That's true. That's true. We did finally... Actually, sell Hammy. Um, that was the best decision. We we didn't have it in us to. And somebody we, to be able to. We didn't have the emotional energy to slaughter an animal ourselves, and also our friends. And we asked yeah. Her. yeah, but so we, we also sold couldn't. her to some good friends. We sold <laughs> her to <laughs> Little Creek Homestead. Little Creek Homestead was. Well, I'm very grateful too. Have, uh, have them take her for us and, uh, and be able to benefit as a family from that. Um, so, <laughs> we, I don't know, how do we wrap this up or keep on talking about it? Yeah. We, are, we were just wanting to, yeah, share our journey of what happened while 
we were away, mommy. and um, lots of good things happened too. Great, and happy, wonderful things. But, yeah. Are you getting smothered, you cutie? <laughs> so we thought we. I don't know, just wanted to share with you uh, why it didn't just disappear. Um, I love you. I'm not the monster. We weren't monster. just doing nothing. We J- weren't just doing nothing, yeah. <laughs> I I the we weren't monster. trying to be selfish by uh, cookies. You know, stringing people along with our story and then just dropping you. No. Uh, we apologize, <laughs> but um, because, you know, when our. When people that we've followed Pokemon. have have taken mm. breaks, it uh, you know it, I'll admit it. It kind of Pokemon. kind of leaves you hanging and kind of hurts a little bit. And you, you, Especially when you create a community where people Pokemon. actually care about each other, really care. I love you, Emmy. And so yeah, we wanted to fill you in. Fill you for in, those and of you who yeah, really care. No. <laughs> yeah, thanks for caring. We uh, we realized um, through taking a break that we have a no. lot of no. good friends, uh, real real true friends. Who keep up on on us through our videos, and we appreciate that very much. We've received a lot of very helpful and encouraging words from you, um, even though you didn't know what we were going through. And we appreciate your patience and uh, your um, continued love for us, um, despite uh, your lack of knowing from from our end what was happening. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> Please know that we we couldn't have <laughs> filled you yeah. in any earlier. So this is um, this is us doing a disc. We're as informing as we you do. as 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 early as is was emotionally possible. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I think so. Um, so the uh, the happy news is that we're all growing and doing well, and kids have definitely gotten bigger. Alex's voice has changed. We can't wait to show you that. <laughs> yep. And yeah, we're having a great <laughs> holiday time, and we've. You want to see our Christmas tree? Festivized our house. Let's see. If that's even a word. Festivized. I know it's not, but it is now. We're, so we we did we started this um, kind of thing. Uh, with the snow. With the snow. Yeah, that was finished. several years ago. Oh wait, <laughs> that what? sounds like it's been like for that for what? several years. Oh no, it started the tradition of making that snow several years ago, and uh, it didn't work very well with little kids, and we still have little kids, <laughs> other ones, and we'll but see if it works. <laughs> So you're the uh, you're the little big sister, and Emmy's the big little sister, huh? <laughs> and the reason Emmy has a dirty face is because it's actually makeup. Um, she was dressed up Emmy. as Joseph, and yeah. you were Mary. <laughs> yep. Mary. <laughs> so Emmy was being Joseph, and they had. <laughs> We're um, we're enjoying life very very much. Um, we are excited to have a, a, a normal size garden. I want to take a normal picture. Person's, a normal person's size garden. I take next a year, picture. Next year. Picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I to Oh, and someday we may get a cow again, but uh, for right now we just needed to de-stress and uh, simplify. And uh, <laughs> and as much as we would like to not not have to live in this world without with any money, um, it is awful hard to live in this world with no money at all. And uh, we made the decision to focus back on my art, where my passion lies. And fortunately, that fortunately having a job brings in um, an income as well, or it started to. Um, I definitely lost momentum in my career, but I've built it up again when we have um, experienced some really good things. Oh my goodness, you guys are awesome! And right behind you. Ah, there she is. <laughs> Anyway, all right. Thanks for hearing us out. This is long. Wow, 25 minutes. But thanks for giving us your time. And uh, have a great day. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye.